Alright, okay, so this episode was subbed quicker than the last one, which is good, but I was kind of caught off guard because I was really, really busy yesterday, so I couldn't really review the episode, but uh, here it is for me right now reviewing it. Um, so, I have to say, I, I do really like this episode, even though I kind of predicted how the outcome of the duel was going to go. Like, it wasn't very surprising that the outcome of this duel went the way it did. Not not that I'm complaining that it was, like, I guess it's really hard to surprise me in Yu-Gi-Oh, to be honest. Like, let's be real here. There's nothing really about Yu-Gi-Oh that can surprise anybody. I don't think it's really a surprising factor with Yu-Gi-Oh anymore. So, but I do like the way that they kind of went with this route for this episode. Um, I actually kind I I actually like this episode. Like it kind of depicts a lot of things that I really liked. Um, one of them being the feeling that you get from Yuya. You actually feel some emotion from him this time, and it's it's rare that we feel any real like justified emotion from Yuma that isn't crying over nothing or being mad about something that we don't even know about him being mad. So this this is the like this is these one of these times where you feel like you're feeling like you understand Yuya's emotion. He's devastated when um, Reggie Pendulum summons because that's something unique to him. It's something. To, like that made him special he's in, he wants to be an entertainer he wants something that makes him special he wants the spotlight to be on him and that the pendulum summoning that uh makes it easier for the spotlight to be on him it makes him special and unique as an entertainer as an entertaining duelist and that's that's important to him so when reggie pendulum summons it really takes away something from him and that's that's going to be important for his character development down the line which i'm really happy about it leads finally we have like a pathway to his character development or at least some of it in future episodes because he i feel like in the next future episodes he's going to be very devastated or down on his luck um like trying to contemplate or deal with how reggie pendulum summoned um the way they ended this duel was that like Reggie was just laughing even though that he seemed like he was in a tight spot. Um, he was just laughing about like, let me tell you how pendulum summoning actually works. And we're just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like you already know more about pendulum summoning than you yeah? So it's it's weird because you kinda wanted to see what he was talking about, but of course they had to make Yuya sort of quote unquote win the duel. Um, by having him uh, kind of have to leave. So we actually have to deal with um, two plots now because uh, Reggie, whoever Professor Marco is and whatever happened to him, Reggie has to deal with that. And um, was was Professor Marco introduced before? I I can't remember. I don't even think if he, if he was, he probably wasn't very important. Um, but yeah. Um, so we're... We're dealing with that, um, and, but like one thing I have to nitpick about, I guess if I had to be real critical, I'm probably not going to get an answer, but whatever. How that, like, his friggin' pendulum cards malfunction. How the hell do cards malfunction? Can someone answer that for me? I, j I just want to know. Like, I know the Yu-Gi-Oh! universe is very, like, up and down and, like, I don't know, all the way around, but, yeah... I don't understand how, like, Yu-Gi-Oh cards are created either, because it seems like Reggie is, like, related to Pegasus or something, because he's able to create his own pendulum cards. Is that is that allowed? Is that allowed? I, I don't know. Like, I mean, you're, you're able to create... I mean, I guess Yu-Gi-Oh just created pendulum cards out of nowhere, but, like, he didn't, like, create them. Oh, sorry, he didn't create, like the card or the monster itself they just changed into pendulum cards they were monsters before and they just changed into pendulum cards but this man just fully just made his own pendulum cards I, is that against the rules like i guess not um but yeah with this it kind of defeats the purpose of lds going after the you show dual school because now they actually have pendulum summoning so they don't need them um 
other than that, I mean, everything in this episode was pretty hunky-dory. I, I mean, I, I like the way that they ended it. Um, I kind of figured that Yuya would win, but also sort of lose, because Reggie was pretty much laughing about how he was going to win. And then Sora kind of steals the episode by saying, Oh, 6,000 attack monsters, Yuya. What will you do? And he's like smiling. But yeah, tell me what you guys think. I'll tell you guys later. Peace.